Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name's Jess and today we are starting the vlog off. It's like 7.30, you can't see that at all. Can you see that? 7.30, 7.30 p.m. I just showered, I took a bath tonight and then I showered. I just finished recording my 24 hour reading vlog and I'm going in and editing it right now. I'm not gonna finish it by tonight. I have been so behind on my videos. Just to kind of give you guys a recap of what's been going on. So when I went to Dallas, I came back for three days and then I immediately went to Vegas. I got pretty sick on my return from Vegas, which is why I think for a second I posted posted like just once in a week instead of twice. Normally I like to post on Mondays and Thursdays, but I only posted once. And then I was supposed to finish this 24 hour reading vlog, but I kept getting migraines or like I've gotten a couple of migraines. And so that kind of like slowed me down on my reading a bit. And now I'm finally finished with the 24 hour reading vlog, but I obviously want to edit it, like get out a good video. So that's what I'm gonna focus on tonight. I'm not gonna stress too much about it because it's Thursday today. So with that being said, I'm going to probably post this next week Week instead because I would prefer to just start fresh next week instead of rushing something if that makes sense so regardless those are all of the updates you have already seen all of these videos by the time you're seeing this one so we've gotten through it thank you guys for sticking around as always and then also you would have seen this in my 24-hour reading vlog as well but I cut my hair it's crazy right now because I just showered but I cut it short I wanted something a little bit new for summertime springtime you know things I my brain is everywhere today, but I wanted to do something a little bit different. So I cut it This is the first time in the, like the formal vlogs that I have it, but yeah, it's in my other videos, too So anyway, those are all of my updates. I'm going to spend some time tonight on this video There is a lot of footage and I think tonight I'm gonna kind of take it easy because the last few days I've been really powering through on these books that I've been reading So I want to just like be chill for just a night. I'm gonna go back to it and I'll see you guys in a bit lattes but in a mug lately i don't know why when i go to bed i love having a mug of milk and i think this could kind of gives me the same vibe but today's friday so happy friday no big plans today so far i do have to go through some of these notifications because it's friday i don't think we have any plans for the weekend either and it's supposed to be kind of rainy today so i think after work if ryan gets home at like a decent time and we're in a good mood like awake <laughs> after the work week we may do something and or just go to target so there's that but aside from that i don't really have any big plans for the week or the weekend i should say i just have to do a lot of editing and just have to read my book club book which is flock by kate stewart we have like 45 minutes before the workday starts so i'm going to chill out for a little bit and then go get plugged into my laptop but i just want to like be off the computer for a second i think you guys, I have to be so honest with you. It's only noon right now. I am so bored today that I started doing work. Like, that's kind of insane. Oh my gosh. You know when, like, you don't, like, you kind of don't want to do the work that you have to do and there's, like, things that you can put off and so you're like, eh, I'll do that another time. I was doing that to a point where literally I was just sitting here and I was like, I literally cannot just sit here. It's only noon. On the calendar, I'm turning on my space heater, so sorry if you can hear it, but on the calendar, we only have one more meeting of the day, which is at 1230 and it's my one-on-one -on -one with my manager. I do have a couple of questions for her and then we're supposed to do like a we call them role plays but basically you're supposed to like pretend like you're in a situation with one of your clients and then they throw something at you and we have like a new a new pitch if you will that we're supposed to be able to speak to so i think that's what's happening in my one-on-one -on -one. and then obviously the questions i always write them down in my notebook so then once my 12 30 is done i'm likely going to move over to the living room so that i can like relax a little bit while i work kind of like do something a little bit more chill 
but I want to wait because I'm gonna have to like share my screen and that's just like so much easier when you have two screens. So in the meantime, we're just here. I'm just like looking for other things that I need to do. Like truthfully, I've, I've done so much today that I just don't even know. Why is this week like this? Like I hate when it's this slow, you know what I mean? I just wish that what it wasn't. I, I don't want it to be this slow. Anyway, I just wanted to update you guys. That's all I'm really doing. I'm going to try to be a bit proactive since I have the time, which is a nice feeling. And then we're just gonna have a chill Friday. I don't know what we're gonna do after work, but I'm hoping it's something fun. And if not, then maybe we'll go to the gym. I haven't been to the gym in a while, so I, I think I need to go to the gym. My meeting went well. I was actually kind of nervous for it because of that role playing that I was mentioning that I have to do. But oh my gosh, what the heck happened? I was gonna say it went well. This just fell. Now I have to fix it. Okay, anyway, what I was saying before that thing so rudely fell was my meeting went really well. I think I definitely got nervous on the meeting, but it was just with my manager, obviously, so she gave me really great pointers, and yeah, so it'll be nice when I have the real call, which is always a benefit to these role play sessions. I have to go cut this plant. Sorry, I'm getting so distracted today. I have to cut this because look at this poor thing. It's getting sick. Can you see that? Oh, okay, well, apparently I don't need to cut it. It just fell right off. I want to go over to Home Depot sometime soon and get some new pots for some of these plants because they definitely need some attention. There's one in particular in the living room that has grown so much since I first got it and it, it like needs a big pot. But I also think that this is ready to be here. I want it to go like that. Does that look cute? But I'm literally all over the place today, but I'm gonna go get a little thing, a little tack. It's supposed to rain today, but I wanna go on a walk because I feel like I just like need some fresh air. I don't know, I feel like I've been like kind of cooped up lately. Is that kind of a weird thing to say? Like, obviously I work from home, so I'm, I am cooped up. Come on, oh no, don't break. Oh my God, it's so cute. I've always wanted a little, Thing like that that is so adorable i love this plant it goes all the way over there like how pretty anyway before i keep getting distracted what i was saying was i wanted to go on some kind of walk but it's supposed to rain like any second now and actually now it's not gonna rain rain until 8 p.m and i kind of i don't know i like i want to get out of the house a little bit i feel like i've been pretty cooped up obviously i work from home so it's like a very normal feeling to feel cooped up but i think especially because it's been a little bit slower at work i just feel like i have nothing to do during the day so then i'm just like i feel like i'm literally wasting time by sitting in my seat at work on the flip side though if I don't sit in my seat, then I don't get more work incoming. So then I really don't have anything going on. So it's been a catch 22. I kind of think I'm going to take some time to figure out what it is that I want to do, whether that's read my book, go on a walk with P. I don't, I don't really know, but I want to do something with the next like lunch break hour that I have. And then maybe I'll be like more reinvigorated to work. I don't know. I'm excited to go do something after work today. That's what I really want to do. Okay, it will be quick because this fan is always so annoying, but I wanted to show you guys. Brian and I just went to Target and I just got like the most basic things, but there's this like full clearance section and it was crazy. So this shampoo is just like a regular old Pantene, but it was originally like $8 and I got it for three. And then this is like a heat protectant. My heat protectant is running out, but this is specific for curly hair, which I thought was very interesting because I do naturally have curly hair. And it was originally $12 and I got it for $5.50. And then this is, it says baby duff because it's I think meant for babies, but I have sensitive skin. So I thought this was gonna be nice because it's hypoallergenic, but it was originally $12. I got it for a dollar for like all of this, 20 ounces. So I'm gonna switch this out. I've been using this one. It's like a hemp tattoo moisturizer, but I feel like it like, I don't know, it's fine. It's not like the, the best lotion in the world, but shampoo I'm always gonna need and this as well. I also got some ice cream and what else did I get? Oh, and I will tell you guys, I also returned my AirPods. I don't think I mentioned 
because I hadn't been vlogging at the time, but I had actually purchased some AirPods Pro, mostly because I was excited to use them for the noise canceling functionality that they have, but they just like something about it. They just like didn't really fit in my ears for me. And then I realized I have other headphones, so it's fine. So I returned those. So I ended up getting like $200 back because I had purchased them on sale. So I ended up returning those and spending $19 on everything, which is pretty decent. I got a few other things as well. So that is the night so far. I'm feeling a little bit better now that I've gotten out of the house, but it is kind of a gloomy night. It's raining right now in LA again, and I love the rain, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, it just makes it, when it's like this dark out, makes it hard to like get out and go in the mornings. So I'm thinking I'm gonna just push myself tomorrow and hopefully just head over to like the gym or something like that. I, I really want to like start utilizing it a little bit more, like get back into a good gym routine. So maybe I'll do that. But for the rest of tonight, I've been thinking about something to watch. Like I kind of want to just like watch something, have some ice cream, kind of have like a little binge night. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to go get into some comfier pants because I'm currently in jeans. Although these jeans are extremely comfortable, but I'm going to go into some pajamas and go to the living room and just chill out for a little bit. Just have have a relaxing evening. Maybe I'll journal a little. Maybe I'll pick up a book. I don't know. We're just gonna, we're gonna chill. actually was editing a little bit. My laptop is over here now, but I also have P here with me. He's, this is his butt. His head's over here. You can't even see him. He's pretty small, so you don't even notice that he's underneath me. I'm not sure what it is, but I think since I just recently finished that 24-hour reading vlog that I did, I've been editing it as well. I'm feeling a little sad because it weirdly burnt me out to reading, and I'm in a really specific scenario, and I'll explain what I mean. I feel burnt out, and I think what I want to do is read the Throne of Glass series, and I know that's a lot of books, but I'm excited about them. Like I keep hearing that they're amazing. Everyone that has been reading them has been highly rating them. So I want to read them. I have all of them on my Kindle at this point. I got them all in the library at the same time, but I am now in this book club, which I joined with my friends and it was my idea. So like, I, like I'm excited about it. Don't get me wrong. But the book for the first, like the first book that was chosen, it's not really my genre. And so I'm kind of like, eh. Like, I, I don't really want to read it. <laughs> but I want to make sure that I finish it before the book club. So now I'm in the situation where I should read. And so instead, I have just been watching YouTube videos. And I actually really like this new person that I found. Her name is Gabby Bell. And she does, like, video essays. And they're all different. So they're really fun. And I really like watching video essays. That's sort of where I'm at. So... I think I'm just taking the night to be here and like be in this state. Ryan's mom also gave me a book that maybe I'll start with that one and then move to the book club book. And then that way I just like have something else that I'm a little bit more excited about. But I'm gonna give myself the night to just like feel that and like just kind of like be like meh about reading right now because I just read a lot of books back to back and tomorrow I will get back to all of it. But I just wanted to update you guys like, you know, it's just, I've, I've heard when people do those 24 hour reading vlogs that it does put them in a bit of a slump, but I didn't think it would happen to me because I was, I was kind of being slow about it, but I'm like, oh, dang it. I put myself in a slump. So we got to get out of it. We'll get there eventually. I've also just been tired. So I think it's a, a big old mixture of everything, but I'm going to go back to this video and just chill. It's uh, almost my bedtime. Oh, it's 930. No wonder I'm tired. I normally am in bed and asleep by like 915. So that all checks out. Maybe I'm just tired. I'm gonna go relax and I will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> Hello you guys, good morning. Today is Saturday and it's rainy. I'm going to head over to a McDonald's really fast and 
I have like all of these rewards, so I figured I might as well use them. And I'm gonna go get a breakfast sandwich. It's been so rainy today and Ryan can't go skating because of that. So I think we're gonna plan on potentially doing something later. Oh no, my camera battery is dying. We're gonna head over to McDonald's and I will check in with you guys when I'm there. There has been chaos in this parking lot but I just got to a second McDonald's location because I don't know what it is about the other location last time I went the line was so long that by the time I got to the front it was lunchtime so I didn't get to order breakfast and then this time I got there and there were no breakfast items except for like a breakfast burrito so I don't even know like what everybody was ordering or like what why is everybody honking in this parking lot oh my god I hate coming to this location because it's inside of an like a office building and so like the drive through is where everybody parks and hence all the parking. I don't know if you can hear that, but this is like the next closest. There's a couple near me, but anyway, point is I'm here, I'm waiting in line now. And once I'm done, I'm gonna head back to the house and I'm probably gonna get ready. I think the plan, because I mentioned earlier, Ryan is not gonna be able to skate today because of the rain. So I think the plan for me is I'm going to get ready. Maybe we're gonna go do something and then come back, chill for a little bit and then I want to go to the gym or do some kind of workout. I really want to continue to utilize the gym because I realize that I haven't gone since I think December and I've been doing at home workouts but I've also like you know been traveling and whatever but I really want to utilize my gym membership a little bit more. It's not very expensive but why not use it if it's there? One day I would love to get a treadmill for the house so that I can actually just like work out at home and not have to go anywhere. I primarily use my gym membership for the treadmills so long-winded way of saying I want to go to the gym. I want to utilize that. And I also want to get like back into a habit of going to the gym, maybe in the mornings, even if I just like go to walk. Half the battle is just getting there. So this is just a constant in all of my vlogs. I talk about how I want to get back into a workout routine, but I just like haven't gotten there. So the more that I say it, the more likely it is to happen. Anyway, I'm going to go order my food and I'm going to use one of my rewards so that I don't have to pay any money, which is always nice. I'll update you guys along the way. The guy who ordered in front of me was so gross and weird and rude. I like he was causing so many problems in that parking lot just because he was like not pulling up enough and I don't know it was just like causing a lot of problems and then when we were getting finally he also like delayed the whole line but that's beside the point he was like taking a million years to order and then when he got to the part where like you pay just before he got to the window he just like loogied on the wall like that was so insane I wish I was recording that because that was absolutely disgusting I wanted to tell the workers but at the same time they're just gonna be like okay like they're not gonna go clean the wall so that was crazy but I finally got the food and I was thinking about how much like back in the day even before COVID I used to love to just like sit in my car and eat like I would order food go park somewhere and like just sit in my car and eat and I think that became more and more normalized because of COVID but I think because I always like lived with my family or lived with roommates it was like my way of just like getting out of the house mm. plus the food is hot I don't feel the need to do that nearly as much but there is something comfortable about being in my car like even thinking about one day getting rid of this car as much as I sometimes like want an upgrade I'm so tied to my car because I've been with it for 10 years since it was at zero miles and it just like makes me feel like this is this is my spot like I felt that way with my old car too but it was just such a different feeling I think but anyway got my McDonald's I'm gonna have my hash brown while I head home and then when I get home I'm gonna have my sandwich and we'll see what the day has in store for us chores to do right now mostly just have to empty this dishwasher and then put these dishes that are in the sink into the dishwasher sometimes i hate doing this tour but other times i remember how at my last house i didn't even have this as an option so i feel so grateful all right dishwasher is going wanted to update you guys quickly on flock the book that i've been reading for book club it's 
interesting i don't really know what i was expecting i for some reason thought that this was a like mystery thriller novel and it's absolutely not it's a romance i have not been in the mood for romances lately which is why when i did my 24-hour reading vlog i skipped reading any of the like more romantic books and my friend gave us an option of like a couple of books to choose from for our book club book this month and again because i thought it was more mystery and thriller i chose this one and i have regrets but it's like pretty good like i'm definitely intrigued but i want to be reading something else for sure and then on our walk today around silver lake there was a little what are those called like the libraries in front of people's houses the little free library so i picked up the book thief i think i have this on my tbr but i don't really remember at all what it's about aside from like world war ii era so picked it up because why not so i'm gonna keep reading for a little bit i do feel like i need a bigger workout but i think i'm just gonna to go for it in the morning and like really get something a little bit more solid in than just walking i thought that the walking would be enough today but i don't think it was that's all i don't really have any updates but i will see you guys in the morning But I've had black coffee. Are you thinking you're ready for us? Hi, come on. Come sit down. Oh, how are you? Good morning. Today we have a few plans that if you I shouldn't say plans. There's just like things that we need to get done. First off, I need to film and edit a video. Then I also need to finish editing my 24 hour reading vlog. And if I have time, I'm gonna start editing this video. And then I will also head to the gym today. Those are really the only things. Oh, and I wanna get through a solid chunk of vlog. So I think I'm gonna make like a little to-do list on my phone. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, I just took Pete on a walk and we're trying something new this morning. I have making some food. I have an English muffin in the toaster over there. I'm cooking one of these little tiny sausages like one of these little circles. And then I'm also gonna make an egg and we have some cheese and we're gonna make a breakfast sandwich because that's like my favorite thing to get at like Starbucks or McDonald's or wherever is a breakfast sandwich, specifically like the one with sausage and cheese. So I figured why not just like make it myself. Okay, I'm sorry, but tell me this doesn't look exactly like something you would buy at like McDonald's or something. It looks crazy, but I don't even really like the egg that you get at McDonald's. I put some cheese in it, you can see and sausage, some scrambled egg, and an English muffin. So I'm gonna go eat this. I'm actually really excited to see how it tastes in comparison. gotten ready we are in gym clothes and we're gonna go to the gym i am just getting my bag ready i realized last weekend that this new bag that i got for travel on amazon can be did i tell you guys about this bag i can't remember if i did but i got this new bag it has this strap but it also has just like regular straps I got this bag for traveling but besides travel i realized that this is actually a really good gym bag too so I'm going to get everything I need. I'm gonna go fill up my water bottle, put on my shoes, grab my lock, and then we're gonna head to the gym. All right, we are just leaving the gym. I don't know why it's so packed today. I ran about like a mile and a half today and then I walked another half mile. I don't know why it's just like so much harder on a treadmill for me but i'm trying to get back in the swing of things with running in particular because i really want to train for this half marathon and i just feel like i haven't really given 
running much attention. Like I, I have been doing more like hit workouts and things like that instead. So it wasn't too much, but I'm trying to again, get back into it. And I'm hoping that this week I can just like focus on coming in the mornings again. And then I went over to Trader Joe's because it's right next to the gym and Ryan wanted some Kung Pao chicken. So I got him some. And now we're headed home. I think for the rest of the day, we're going to focus on editing and doing other stuff like that. Sometimes I feel like when I run, especially on the treadmill, because I can't go as fast, I don't feel like I really even like worked out. So it's kind of like, I don't know, it feels like almost like a bummer, but I know I did. I just don't feel like I did. We're gonna go home, start doing some editing and some reading. All right, I'm wearing the big ol' sunflower sweater. I still think that this color is like not the best color on me, but I think it's just too cute not wear, especially on like a rainy day. I'm also wearing some baggy pants, so I just look very, let me show you guys my whole outfit. Can you see this? I'm just like, I'm in the comfiest clothes but also like everything is like, like it's not leggings, but it's still so comfy. I haven't done my hair, but that's because I want to let it dry a little bit. And I'm actually preparing my boxes for returns. So I'm going to return my Amazon stuff that I just haven't had a chance to return yet. I, I can't find a good place for you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna go return things to the UPS store. But actually, let me make sure that the UPS store is open. Um, but I just wanted to get it over with. Aha, okay, I found one that's open, but it's open until three. It's almost one o'clock. So I'm going to head over there. I just need to to tape this one down and then I'll be able to go and return it. And it feels really good to have that chore just like checked off the list. The only other thing, I wanted to kind of take a detour, but I did not. The only other thing that I can actually think of that now that I'm in the house is I wanted to repot this plant. This root is just like dying to be potted. And it really, like this is not big enough. I simply just have not gone to Home Depot to get like dirt or a new pot. So I need to do that. And I'm sure some of our other plants need to be repotted, but I just haven't had the time or the energy. And I'm sad because now that I have come back to the house, like I was looking for an excuse to go do something. The house feels really like dark and cold. Outside, it was like sunny, but now when I'm inside, when I look outside, it looks dark and cold. It's kind of weird. I'm making pizza now though. Ryan's taking a quick nap. I think he's gonna go try to skate if things get better. I don't know what this photo is. like. I'm showing him like a picture of cars and I look disappointed. <laughs> Not sure what that's about. But yeah, so I'm gonna make a pizza. I'm gonna read some more of my book and then I'm going to probably edit for the rest of the day. Did my hair look crazy? <laughs> Put my hair in some braids and we are going to go to Home Depot and get this plant a new pot. <laughs> it's really, really, really requesting one. We're also gonna get some dirt. I don't know if we're gonna go anywhere else after that, but we're gonna have a little Sunday adventure since it's only not even three o'clock. We have some time. Okay, we're back. We went to a bookstore which was really cool but we did not end up getting anything but it was like a really cute local bookstore and then we also went to ace hardware instead of home depot and we got this big pot this is the one that is currently in there you can see how much bigger this is than that so i'm very excited we also got some dirt and some gloves and i think that i was gonna wait initially to repot this but i'm thinking now maybe we should just do it now and get it out of the way i think that i should i'm gonna go do this outside though obviously but i got some gloves just in case because touching dirt just like like I'm always scared that there's gonna be like spiders and stuff in there. That's what happened last time I did this. At my old house, there was just like a spider infestation. So I'm gonna set this up outside and then we will plant it and then we can water all of the plants as well. Okay, we got our new gloves engaged. It's really funny that I thought that this pot was not gonna be big enough because this is the old pot. So, While I do this, I'll tell you guys some exciting news. One of my best friends, I've known her literally since kindergarten. She just texted me while I was out and about with Ryan and let me know that her and 
her fiance eloped and they've officially gotten married, which is so insane. And she's gonna be in town this upcoming week, which is really exciting because then I'll be able to see her. She's actually gonna be in Thousand Oaks, but we're thinking about like meeting halfway or something like that. It's just crazy to think that she's married. I'm really excited. I'm hoping that we can make it work this next week. This is where it gets confusing. I feel like I was so distracted here and didn't really get to appropriately explain how I was feeling about this whole situation. But basically this person that I know, she's one of my best friends. I've known her since kindergarten. She had told me that she was planning on eloping. So I kind of knew that this was coming. I just had no idea when. She sent me this really adorable picture of her and her now husband scuba diving with them writing their vows. And I do on little whiteboards, which I thought was was really cute and yeah I'm just so happy for her I feel like it's so fun to get to see some of your best friends get married along these last few years it's been a lot of our friends having new life changes and it's just really exciting so again I just wanted to properly express how excited I was for this and I'm excited to meet up with her soon okay let me show you guys so this is the new hot situation I think it looks pretty nice. It's so much bigger than I realized. So yeah, this is the new pot. And then I used, <laughs> what are you doing? I used the old pot that we had. And I actually took, it's a, this exact same situation, except for obviously like not as large. So it's the same pot and actually the same plant. This is just propagated from this guy. And I'm gonna put this one, I think in the bathroom because that's where it thrived amazingly in my last house. Although this one has no, light like there's no hmm maybe i'll have to think about this a little bit you can't really see her but she's up there she's gonna be big one day i think in that spot it will be so much better lit up because there's actually windows in there whereas i mean like in here would also be fine but there's already a plant there and here is where i wanted it but i actually when it was propagating had it here but i was going to put it like maybe around here it does really well near the shower but because there's zero light in there i think it needs some light so we'll see how it does in there and then based off of how it does you can always move things around i'm gonna water the rest of the plants that i have around the area and aside from that i think most of like my actual chores are done. Really the only other thing that I have to do today is edit. So I think I'm gonna focus on that for a little bit. Usually it takes me a couple hours and then I'll have the rest of the night to chill. As long as I get like one of the edits done for tomorrow, I would like to get more done, but I don't think it's gonna happen because I haven't even filmed one of the things that I need to edit. So that is going to be a future me problem, but I'm gonna edit for a couple of hours and then I will check in with you guys when I'm finished with it. I think that's pretty much the last thing I have to do for the day. Well, I just finished my video. I am getting ready for bed and I'm going to lay down in bed while I review the video. But before I do that, I'm just getting everything together because I want to make sure that I can go to the gym in the morning again. I want to really keep up a habit and I think I just need to, to start doing it. I think easing into it is not working for me so I'm just getting the clothes set aside and we're gonna run tomorrow again. All right well all that stuff is set aside. I think I'm gonna go put it in my bathroom mostly because I get up around five-ish and Ryan sleeps into like seven-ish so I like to move the stuff over to a different room room so that I don't wake him up. I'm gonna lay down while watching slash like reviewing my video that I edited and then I'm gonna head to bed after that. So wanted to just end the vlog here and say thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I appreciate every single one of you guys. It's always really fun to just like chat with you guys and bring you along to just like my adventures, my journeys, like what's going on in life. So thank you guys for watching and yeah, that's all I got. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Thank you.